All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the uh, inaugural edition of the Eagles Alumni Report here on the Intermission Show. Joey Pitt here, joined by former Eagles captain, current member of Sacred Heart University's men's hockey team, the one and only, the league, Jake Bongo, uh, who's joining us all the way from Connecticut. Jake, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, doing good. How are you? Um, you know, no complaints, uh, especially when I get the chance to talk to you again. It's been a long yeah. time. Uh, I think yeah. the last time I got the chance to see you would have been after the playoffs ended in the uh, spring of 2023. Uh, first thing I want to ask you is how was your summer and the transition from the BCHL into the NCAA? Uh, it was good. Um, you know, the BCHL does a great job of preparing you for college, um, just like the style of play, the pace of play. And um, it also helps having Cam behind the bench. He, uh, the way he coaches, um, you know, helps you out a lot for college. He, he's been there. He's played in college. So he knows kind of what it takes to be a successful player at the college level. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a bit of a challenge, um, but it's good. I felt more than prepared for this year. Well, you talk about it being a bit of a challenge, that transition. Let's talk about how your first year has been going over at Sacred Heart University. Uh, three goals and six assists for nine points so far. You find yourself slotted between the first and second line quite a bit. Overall, what have you thought of the experience in the first season in college hockey? Um, yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I've gotten a lot of opportunity kind of right away as a freshman, which is, uh, which is you know, kind of what you want. So I got to give uh, a lot of thanks to my coaches here for the opportunity. Um, but yeah, it's been hard. It's, it's hard. It's physical. It's, structured it's you know it's everything people say what college hockey is going to be about so it's you know it's hard to produce points but you kind of uh come to realize that you could have such a big impact on the game without you know scoring or getting an assist so one of the nice things for you having that transition over to Shu was going with one of your former teammates. You spent two years in Surrey with Cole Galata. He made the trip with you over to Connecticut for college. How's it been getting the chance to hang out with one of your old teammates and continue that friendship you had with Cole? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, we're roommates, so our room's pretty small. We share a pretty small room. So we, uh, I'm around him all the time. You know, it was nice uh, coming into school, having someone that, you know, sort of, uh, um, yeah, it's just been, been awesome having, having him here. I'm so glad he committed here. Um, I, I'd like to say that I was part of his, uh, reasoning for coming here. So, um, it's been so much fun getting to spend more time with him and, uh, hopefully we could get some more guys from, from the Eagles to come here in, in the future. Well, obviously, one of the guys that you will be getting in the near future is goaltender Ajit Gandara, who you spent a lot of time shooting against during his time with the Langley Rivermen. Obviously, uh, your patented move may have gotten used once or twice against Jeter, but how excited are you guys as a team knowing that you have a goaltender like that who's leading the BCHL in nearly every goaltender category and know he's coming into your goaltending system in the next year or two? Yeah, it's awesome. We have, uh, so we have a, goaltender graduating this year so there's going to be a spot right open for him uh he was hard to score on he made uh he made my career a little miserable at times playing in Langley there it's a tough rank to play in and uh I do remember him he was such a good goalie and it's I'm glad to see he's in an Eagles jersey now and uh he came down for a visit like a couple of months ago so I got to know him a little bit and he's an awesome kid and uh I'm glad to see he's doing so well and I'm glad he's coming in for us next year it's gonna be good now, obviously, the allure of jumping to college hockey was always – it's always one of the goals once you get into the sport. But when you saw what Cam Keith was putting together over the summer, did you have a slight thought of thinking, you know, maybe a year as a 20-bomb in the B show might be a good time and get to play with Schwartz and Cranston? Was there ever a thought? Uh, I don't know. I mean, is it, is it past the trade deadline? Like, is it – is can I still come back or no? Well, unfortunately, the deadline went uh, came and went last weekend, but there is still a signing date. So, you know, I don't know. Get okay, on the phone so with CK. Open. It could happen. Yeah, maybe I'll give Cam a text. But, uh, no, it's good to see the guys from last year um, having so much success. Schwartz, I guess the game plan this year is just get the puck to 16, huh? And more or less, he's uh, his game has evolved so much in the past three or four months. Getting the chance to play with Evers and Cranston has been great for him. And yeah. – um, it seems like uh, he's become such a Swiss army knife of a threat 
Uh, there's more than just the the one timer from the top of the circle uh-huh. this year for Schwartz. He's mucking in the corners. He's going to the front of the net. And honestly, if you could have played with those two, it could have been a blast this season. Yeah, it's it's. I've watched some of the games. It's fun to watch them. Uh, I never knew Schwartz he hit so much until this year. Um, <laughs> it's good to see him throwing throwing the weight around. Um, but yeah, him guys like Brass and Evers and Slam and Wags. It's good to see them all having such good years. Um, they're they're great kids. They were super fun to be on a team with. So it's, it's kind of, it's awesome to see like the success they're having. And it's I'm kind of jealous that um, they're doing so well this year. One of the, uh, the pictures that made the rounds on the uh, Eagle social medias a couple months back was uh, after a game between Sacred Heart and Robert Morris, when you Cole Galata and Michael Sochan got to catch up post game for a quick picture. How nice is it having former teammates still in that system so you can cross paths every now and then, as opposed to, well, it was great knowing you for a year. See you never. No, yeah, it's really cool. Um, you know, it's not just, I feel like every game, you know, every game I play, there's someone who I played against or played with growing up. Um, we play against Brody Gagno this weekend. So that'll be good to see him um, try to run him in the corner a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, it's awesome. You know, you make kind of lifelong friends, even though I was only there for two years. Um, you know, the friendships and the relationships I made with my teammates and Cam and just everyone within the organization will last a lifetime. So it's a really special place. And uh, I just miss it so much. Well, uh, we definitely miss you down here in Surrey. But uh, if I can wrap this up with one final question, your old club is currently sitting tops in the BC Hockey League. Uh, they have about an eight-point lead in the Coastal Conference standings right now, heading towards the Fred Page Cup playoffs. How do you see your former club doing? Um, you know, obviously, I hope they get a ring by the end of it. Um, from what I've seen, they 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 look pretty unstoppable. They look good. They they play hard. Um, I think that was our issue last year is, you know, we didn't like, I don't know what it was, but we were just a bounce away. So I'm hoping that, you know, they could uh, be on the other side of things this year. And it's looking like uh, it's looking like hopefully they, they get there this year, but um, it's been awesome seeing how good they've been doing this year. Uh, Yeah. I hope, I hope nothing but the best for them. I'm jealous. I want to, I want to be part of the playoff run this year. Well, I, maybe we can try to pull some strings, get a green card for you and get you back into the green and blue for a couple of games this year. But Jake Bongo, I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, former Eagles captain spent two years down here at the South Surrey Arena. It was an absolute blast getting the chance to catch up with you. Thanks for your time, Jake. Thanks, Joey. And uh, this has been the inaugural edition of the Alumni Report. Tune in next time when I'll be catching up with former Eagles defenseman and assistant coach Matt Dawson. Uh, Tune in for that one. Uh, Until next time, folks, I'm Joey Pitt. Take her easy.